The next revolution is happening right here. By the end of the 80s, a third of the homes in the United States will have personal computers. And what they'll be doing with them is using them as personal educational tools and as transaction terminals for shopping and learning and buying and educating themselves at home. This is where it's happening. Apple was the creator of the personal computer concept. That's right, we were the first company to deliver a machine in 77. You have to realize that the market today is an infant market. There's only two million personal computers on the entire planet compared to millions and tens of millions of people. Last year in the United States alone, there were nine, 10 million automobiles sold. There were 600,000 housing starts. Compared to that, the number of personal computers out there is infinitesimal. Every company that educates the public is going to sell computers, and they're going to expand the market while they're doing it. The competition for Apple is not IBM, and it's not Radio Shack, and it's not Atari. The competition for Apple is this. That's what people use. The purpose of computers is not, per se, to eliminate paper. It would be nice if it did. We could have a motto, buy an apple, save a tree. But that's not the prime purpose of the computer. The prime purpose of the computer is to extend your mind the way a hammer or a saw or a pistol extends your hand, to give you the power to do things intellectually in the way of bringing in information and understanding it that you couldn't do before. It's nice if that saves paper, but that's not the primary purpose. It is a fast-paced activity. It's a place where you get used to associating with extraordinarily sharp people, with things that change very rapidly, with things that happen all the time. It's a place where you take technical competence for granted. You take a fairly high level of education for granted, because that's what's all around you. You take, uh, in some, to some extent, having the best of things around for granted. Uh, I wouldn't live anywhere else, I don't think.